Sometimes in a pattern you'll see it'll say either decrease or cast off a certain number of stitches over a certain number of rows to shape the shoulders. Well, you can actually shape shoulders using short row shaping or partial knitting um, instead of actually casting off or binding off those stitches because it's, it makes it very difficult to sew a neat seam on the shoulder seams uh, if you cast those stitches off rather than use short rowing. I typically always short row shoulder shaping because it makes a nice looking seam. So for instance, this says decrease four stitches on the next, and I'm doing this second one here, four rows. So what I'm going to do is, the opposite side of the carriage, I'm going to put four stitches into holding position and I'm going to knit across. Then I'm going to wrap that yarn under that very last needle in holding position next to the one that's in work. And then on this side, I'm going to put four more stitches into hold. This would simulate casting off those stitches on either side. So I'm going to knit back. So that would be row two. Again, I'll wrap the yarn here to prevent a hole from forming. So we're instructed to do this on this particular pattern for four rows. So this is the third row now. I've put four more needles opposite the carriage into hold. Knit across. Wrap. And this is row four, so now I'm going to put those last four that it says into hold on the opposite side and knit back before I do anything else. So I don't forget, I'm going to wrap that, that stitch there. So that would simulate casting off 16 stitches. Okay, so now the directions say... Then decrease or cast off slash bind off four more stitches at the beginning of next two rows. So it wants us to do this twice more. So we're going to put four stitches opposite the carriage into hold. Knit across. This is row one. Making sure my needles stay in hold. Wrap and then hold another four at the other side, and this is row two. It'll be helpful to have some extra weights so your needles don't get jammed. You'll want to put some more weights here where stitches are being held and others are still knitting. Help them knit off properly. You would need to do that on any machine, not just on a bond, which is what I happen to be using at the moment. Right, so then it says, now using a darning needle, or you could use waste yarn, because um, it wants you to thread those remaining 26 stitches onto a piece of waste yarn, but you could knit them off on waste yarn as well if you wanted to. So what I would do now is I would cut this main yarn, I'd knit these stitches off on waste yarn, release them from, from the machine, then I would push these ones back, depending on which other side my carriage is on, I'd push one set of them back to forward working position while leaving the rest of them in hold. Take those off on waist yarn. You can knit a row across of them if you want to. It makes it easier to pick up later, but it's not essential. Take one off on waist yarn and then take the other lot off on waist yarn. And that would be a shoulder shape. Of course, this would be for a back shaping. It'd be slightly different for a front shaping because the scoop of the front neck... Um, you would end up shaping the shoulders separately, but it is the same idea. So there you go, that's how you can shape shoulders using short row shaping instead of casting off or binding them off. Makes a much nicer seam when you come in, when you come to um, join them together um, instead of casting them off and then trying to sew the seam. Creates less bulk and it's neater. So there we go, hope this was helpful.